Hello everyone, welcome back to my brand new Zelda playthrough. We are on episode three today. Um, we have, just a quick recap of course, just taken the second shrine, made our way over here, have learned a new skill which is Fuse. Uh, what I wanted to do was go back to our friend over up top there if I can, and try and reunite him with his Oops. friend before, oh, is my boat gone? It has, hasn't it? That could be tricky then. Ah, oh. well, that's what I wanted to do. I wonder if I can make any materials. Um, I did get a new device on my hip there from one of the constructs, which I need to find out about. Here we go. You, we're gonna make our sailboat here. Uh, down. So we can go and see our friend, help him out. Uh, that one, that's fine. Yeah, and then make our way to... Oh, I don't need you. To the third shrine that we need to unlock uh, to get to Zelda, I believe, at the temple. There we go. Down a bit. Attach. Nice. And you. No. I'm still getting used to the controls. That's it. So yeah, I think that's the plan today. Hopefully we can do all of that. Um, can we? Why can't I have it upright, please? Right, here we go. Here we go. And attach. Okay. You want to go there? You go there. Let's pick you up. Get you in the water. Yep, loving the game so far. Really love the uh, concept of the sky islands. The constructs are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, can we, do we need to push you? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Why aren't you moving? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it all so far. Um, why is it, oh, is it because it's going this way? I'm not getting the wind. The wind is the wrong way. Hmm. Okay, well, we have him pinned. So there may be a way around to go back to him at some point. I hope, anyway. Seems a bit um, silly if you can't go back. So I'm pretty sure you most likely can. Okay. So the construct that gave us this new device said to go down here to figure out how it works, which we shall do now. Oh, look, they're fighting the chicken chains. But we fight you all. Oh, he's knocked out. No. Nice. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. The construct said about... What is it behind this temple? I can see his friend. Oh, 
Oh, dear. Right, let me take that, then. <laughs> oh, he's got, like, a big plank. OK. What was that about? Let's go round. Oops. Where is he at? Oh. Hello? No, don't set off your alarm, please. OK. Thank you. There was a chest in here, wasn't there? Let's take a look. And a little cooker thing. I can do some good. See what treasures we can get here. Soldier Reaper. Nice. Uh, let's get rid of you. Let's just do some cooking. I wonder if I can hold. Uh, hold. What do we reckon? Hold. I'm just sort of experimenting here. Tasty meat and mushroom skewer. Nice. Okay, so... We can't cook that, surely. Hold, hold. Hold. Try that. Cook. Fire fruit might do something. I mean, it's fruit. Nice. And stem bulb. Let's try that. Cook. I don't have any sort of references to different, re different recipes. So I'm just sort of guessing right now. But that'll do. Excellent. Right. I think this is the way to go. Discovery. Pondside Cave. Okay. Bright bloom seed, a seed that's often found in caves or wells when struck. It will take root and bloom, giving off faint light from a small flower. That's cute. We shall take. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Key's eyeball. The mysterious orbs scan their surroundings. Take advantage of their glaring awareness and attach one to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. Amazing. Key's wing. An aerodynamic material dropped by defeated Key's. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached. I need to remember that. Ah, where's my... Rock hammer. <laughs> Amber. A fossilised resin with caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Rock salt. Crystallised salt from the ancient sea commonly used to season meals. Cannot be eaten in this form. But I can eat it as seasoned... With, with seasoning, right? What the F is this? A frog? A friend? Hello? Are you a friend? Hello? No. Okay. <laughs> What? 
Bubble Gem, a strange crystal left by defeated bubble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. Huh? Is it a material, do we, do we reckon? For something? Nope. Nice. Uh, here. You. Flint. Strike it with a metallic weapon to generate a spark. This fire starter breaks after one use, but it can create a long lasting flame if you strike near firewood. Cool. <laughs> Treasure's glow. Oh no, my hammer. Just last me to this. Ooh. A precious red ore mined from large ore deposits. Rubies contain the power of fire and have fetched a high price. Oi. I'm hoping that means there will be a cool little village or something that we can go to. That would be fab. I loved the high rule sort of villages and things. I just, I love all of that. I love it. Please last. Oh, shiznits. Okay. So. I can fuse. Ah, oh, what do I want to fuse? Let me try the stick. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I need to find a rock. Why? Cool. Oh, it probably won't last that long, but that's fine. I just need it for some of this sort of material. Excellent. Oh. Uh, let's go with a club. Okay. Right. I'm loving this little cave we've got going on. Anything good? Archaic tunic. How cool is that? Old fashioned upper body wear. It's got some holes, but the soft cloth feels good to the touch. It's hard to keep it wrinkle free. <laughs> I love the little descriptions. Oh, looking good, man. Looking fly. Oh, okay. Let's not climb up that. Ah, so we come out. I think, into the area that the construct said about. Okay. The rafts for crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. Ah, oh, that's not good. This is ordinarily where we send resource across the river. The only silver lining is that Zonai devices are undamaged. Ah. Ah, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. There are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. Please go ahead. The green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multitudinous... multitudinous purposes. <laughs> Using Zono devices does require energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Ah, you have one already. That is a relief, but perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. An energy cell stores the energy required to use Zono devices. Its energy will replenish automatically whilst Zono devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy, energy contained within wisely. Otherwise, you may run out at inopportune moments. Pardon the long explanation. It does not change our need for a raft. Zonai devices are extremely useful. Think creatively and you will find many ways to employ them. So, we did need to come here then to, to learn about the Zonai devices and... <laughs> oh, mine's gone black to be able to manipulate the wind so that it's in the direction that we need it to get back across, people. That is excellent news, because I was a little bit down, I do admit. 
that we were not going to be able to get across again. Let me just get that stick. I need something basic for weaponry. I want to use all of my good weapons. OK, so... Have they gone to sleep? Oh, they have. Oh, I almost missed. I was about to say Zazu. <laughs> Rauru. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. The steward constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others to suit... to suited... suited to different roles. Culinary constructs, might make a construct, you'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialities, they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. You should take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not yet know. Thank you, Raru, Zazu. Right. So do I need to find a sail? Because I can't see one. Oh, no, pick up. Should I throw you? No, you don't even smash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything here? Is there a purpose to these? Oi, other than giving me a mini heart attack. Can you just come a bit closer? Ah! Oh, ah! Me and gravity. Okay. Nice. I feel like I want to just move you closer rather than just keep dying. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got you, got you, got you, got you. Got you. <laughs> that seems better to me, but then, okay. There. Oh, it's too much. Okay. No, 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 no. Before you do any of that, there's a tough boy. I didn't realise I was using my trusty boulder dagger thing. Broadsword? Yes. Nice. Okay, anything else around here? Mm, yes. Um, let's drop you then. And let's get thick stick. Oh, look how pretty! A fireflies! Try then. Um... Can we get up here? What is this? Oh. Hmm. Am I having to make something elaborate here? What do you reckon? Ooh. A leaf? Korok frond. A mysterious leaf that looks like it might be hiding something behind it. Oh. It has some medicinal value. Attach it to a stick and it can be used as a fan. They have them, don't they? Isn't that what they sometimes hide behind? Uh, right. What if I... Let me just get another, another boy. and attach them to each other and make some shoddy little bridge. Oh, 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 okay. Right, down, down, down. Attach. Okay. 
think it's safe, Shorty. Come on. Oh, because I've got the wall in front of me, I can't. Nope, oh, this way. This way? Ah! I know what I'm trying to do, but... <laughs> As to it actually working. Ooh. Can we see, please? Stay. Ow! <sighs> I'm being lazy. <clears throat> Let's do it kind of properly. Down, down. Attach. Okay. Let's try this then. I mean, it's still not great. Yes, yes, yes. No! God damn. Try again. No, don't push. Just climb. <gasps> oh, okay. Amber, nice. Cool. Right. Uh, looks like we can climb up here, right? Whoa. Couldn't quite see then what you were doing, Link. Let's try this tree root. Literally. Get that stamina going. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, and again. We can get to this side here. I think we can at least replenish our stamina. We look good. Okay. That was a bit risky. But hey. Last bit. Up, up, up. Okay. Oh no, some more. Being impatient now. <laughs> Yes, yes. What is up here? Anything? Whoa! I didn't expect that. Ooh, okay. Uh, fruit. There. Anything? Don't burn yourself, dude. A rock. Pick up. Hey! I did! Huh? You're not a Hestu. But you see me. I didn't know someone like you could see children of the forest. Well, if you see Hestu, please return this to him. Korok Seed. Nice. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, so you should keep an eye out while you wander. Don't want to put that on you. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's try and figure out where we are. Mm -mm -mm. And where we want to go. Is the friend there? No, that's one of the shrines I've done. Friend is over there. Okay. I think I've just done a big up and down loop type bit. So let's go down. I wonder if I can use those devices now. What do we reckon? Oh, 
I know that they had loads of devices on the other side, but I kind of I want to get to that way, don't I, really? Because that's where the friend is. Or the, the dude is, anyway. So we can just have a look. It may be that I need to go where those devices are specifically to get across again. I just want to check. Got sails and stuff here. I couldn't see them, but I wasn't necessarily looking for them, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look promising. So I think I need to go back. Can we do anything with these? Are broken, right? No. Okay. Right. Back we go then. Up. Um, and we'll try and use the Zorai devices. As you said, we need to be careful on how often or what we use them for, seeing as they have a limit. Um, not jumping over there, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, because we went through the cave, so we went on top and underneath now. So we can go underneath again because it was quite a bit quicker than climbing around. Pondside Cave. Oh, I missed a little plant there. There we go, we went in there, through here. Uh, oh, yeah, here. <laughs> cool, so I need to make a sail. Pick up. Ah, we may need to need of these parts. They have more materials near the water available for your use. It is very difficult to rest peacefully when things like this happen. Okay, sorry. My bad. Right. Only issue is, is there's no actual sail. Little fish. Yes is the answer to the question. Ancient arowana, a lively fish that hasn't changed much since ancient times. Its nutritious meat can restore a bit of health. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we haven't got a sail, but I wonder if that matters if we um, have these devices that we can use, I guess. Attach. Yeah. And you. Attach. Okay. But what do I do with it? Oh, wait a minute. Do I put it on? Oops. I guess that's what you do, and then uh, 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 do this, and then what? <laughs> um, hello? Help me. 
We have the zone order, but I do not see how it will help us with the broken law. You remain at a standstill. But I, I mean, I think that's how you do it, but I don't know. No, 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 I don't want to throw. Oh, my days. So what do we do with this then? Or how do I use my device? Or do I not? Let's just bring this here to show. No, it's not. No, uh, no. I just want help. Okay. Well, I've kind of done that, but I don't. I guess I don't have a sale, mummy. All I can do is pick it up. Right. Cool. Could well be that I missed it. Oh. I need to strike it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I do remember him saying that now, and I just... Doesn't matter, does it? There we go. Okay. Right. I understand. Unstick. Attach. Hit. Hit. Uh, um, <laughs> oh shit, I understand. No, come on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Where am I? Right, get up, get up on that. I don't know what to do. I understand. I'm like halfway. Oh God. Holy shit. No, no, no. Get up. Get up. Oh, she's nits. No. Okay, just push me. There. Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. I'm gonna die. It's fine. I understand. Here we go. Oh, now I die. <laughs> okay, well, that's my shoddy work, I guess. And the fact that I did that. Right. Let's pick you guys up. Oh, behave. There we go. Let's try this again. Maybe not whack it with an axe. Attach. We are going to get this and stick and stick you here and use club. Get you in the water for God's sake. Boom. Get me on there, please. A whack. Oh, come on. Okay. And let's hope that this goes better. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't want to move because I can't. I feel like I need to steer it and I can't, so let's just <laughs> hope we get to the other side. Sorta, sorta. We made it. Holy for Jesus. We got there. <laughs> After a terrible first attempt. Yum, yum, yum. Hello, Diga? Ranger. Oh, you're going in this direction. This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I have developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell you them? Yes. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or warm yourself. Okay. I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Place flint next to a bundle of wood, then strike it in a metallic or stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. There are several other methods, but it is best to internalize the basic first. Would you like to hear about cooking? No. Look after yourself. Thorough preparation is everything. Cool. We have all of that stuff, so... I'm, I'm, I think this is the right way. Maybe? I don't even know. I haven't even thought about that, actually. Right, so we have a pin here, which is one of the shrines. So I'm thinking the answer is maybe yes. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a place for froggies. Run away. Oh, doesn't like water, huh? Okay. Right, let's keep going. I can't see much from here. That's a big tree. There's another cave. Oh, look, a nice little fire. Set up going here. Shall we try it? Uh, so I need flint, flint. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I don't even need that, do I? I need to just hold and then. If I drop... Did I... Did I not drop that? Drop. Okay. And then... Strike. I like it. I don't even think I pressed that button. Oh, there's some doodars here. No? Look at this. Nice. Are they... Oi! 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. None of that. Thank you very much. Oop! Smacked me on the bottom. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, la, la, la. Oh, la, 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 la. No. He's a big boy. Stop that there. Okay. Right, so... What am I doing? What am I doing? Here. I'll use the broadsword because there were a few weapons there on the outside that we can pick up as well. There's that cave too I want to get to. 
Right, I'm not very stealthy in these games, so I'm just um, pushing. Why are we doing this, Link? Oh, God. Right, you can go first. Whoop, whoop. Oh. Okay. What's it doing? Stop throwing shit. Um, I feel like I need to just get some space a minute. Rusty broadsword will do. Okay, right. I'm trying to see if there's a rock or something that I can... Oh, I can do that little horn thing, right? Huh? Um, I was going to say... Oi! Uh, fuse, but... Um, I can't see anything, so we're going to use this. Nice and sharp, and you can do one as well. Can I stagger him a little bit? Nice. I know I have a shield, but I, don't, I generally don't <laughs> lock. Ah, oh, yes. I like a bit of opal. Okay. Uh, you... No, uh, where are my bows? Let's drop you, and let's take, no, let's drop you, oops, we'll pick that up in a minute, there. Wooden box club, oh, like he's infused the um, club. Well, seeing as this is about to die, let's drop you and pick up this cool little device. <laughs> Right. Shield, we take. Okay, right, where's that cave? Oh, look, it's like a mine. Ooh, wait a minute. I, I know that I have a limited battery life on the um, device, but this looks like. I didn't want to do that. Oh. I will get used to the controls. <laughs> I'm I'm sure of it. Okay, I feel like I should get in this before I start. Bashing, baby. Look at this. Oh. Is it about light, right? Okay. Oh, okay. Right, wait, 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 wait. Let's just stop you a minute. And what I need to do is have... <laughs> no, this. This is what I need. Oh, can I not? Can I not bash that? That seems a bit weird. Oh, hello. The cave is especially dark. You need a light in order to proceed the mining site ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? Yes. Oh, you do not know of them. Oh, I do, but okay. The glowing flowers, there are bright blooms. They shine very brightly. Many use them as illumination in dark places. They grow natively in caves such as this one. This cave has been picked mostly clean of them. That is because it's especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. I'm posted here to provide a reminder to bring bright broom, bloom seeds. By the way, did you know bright bloom seeds require a stimulus to blossom? Striking a bright bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate on impact. 
The bright bloom you see growing there is no different. I cause it to blossom. It would generally be in your best interest to use bright bloom seeds in dark places such as this. Okay. So if I have them, I can do that, I guess. Oh, I like that. That's good, isn't it? Oh, sad. Oh, it's because I've not... Silly me. It's because I hadn't attached another one. Um, what I want is... Oh, well. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This. Let's see if I can get him. Oh. No. No bubbles for you. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I, um... That's fine. I thought I would have the, um, what am I trying to say? This. Um, but I keep needing to try and remember to swap them out. Bubble gem. Search. Oh, cool. You get a charge. That's that's pretty decent. Shame we couldn't use it throughout the mine, but I guess it's sort of, sort of a tutorial telling you how to use things. Arrow. All these goodies. So if I swap my thing back... No, 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 this. Okay. Pink. No. And then... It's, it's mainly this that I'm... Uh, struggling with. <laughs> and I want you... Yeah, a poor rock hammer. It's done me good considering it's wood. Oh, look. Talk. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> that zona is already slated for processing. It would pose difficulties for me if you took it for yourself. Zonite. Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is Zonite, I mentioned. It is a unique mineral that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it in, on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing this substance into other materials. Zonite is processed by smelting it in the furnace. It is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait a moment. Okay. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of materials the ore can be processed into. Zonite technology is typically powered by zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Crystallized charges are solidified form of zono charges. We mainly use them as raw material in construction of energy cells. Do you need anything else explained? No. Please visit any time you require processing, processed materials. Can I have these then? How many do you require? I'll take them all. You do not have enough zono. Please come back once you have bought enough. Oh, the monies. Let me try one. What's the deal? OK. 
Okay, and let's get a couple of these three. Yes. I don't know what I'll be using them for yet, but let's get a couple and then um, we'll carry on. Oh, man. Um, right, I need to find a rock over here. You, Fuse, is, there, is that a rock? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So Zionite is the exchange for the refined materials that they process. Which is cool. Nice. I say I don't want to obviously use all of my zone eye up because I don't know what else I can get or how often I need to use the like crystallized stuff. So we just we we'll just pick up. Oh look, yeah. There you go. Helping you. No? Fine. Take it for myself. Be that way. Uh, this is Minecart Station. Excavated resources can be transported from here. Could it be that you've forgotten to bring Zonoi capsules? Yeah. Or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonoi capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonoi devices. It's so unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. The ones I gave you were fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zono devices are useful and come in very in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Cool. Shall we try then? Behave. I'm not a danger. Uh, down. Okay, so how am I getting how am I getting the uh, I don't know. he's giving me stuff, right? Oh, here we are. A sono device that produces wind. Yep. Take out device. Decrease. No, uh, no, decrease. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to take two out. Oh, that's annoying, because now I can't put it back in, right? Oh, well. Um, let me just see if I can. No. Okay, well, that was annoying. My own fault. No, 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 no. <sighs> right, so I don't... Okay. I was just about to say, I don't have anything, really, any wooden... Okay. Let's go! Woo! This is so cool. I have no idea where this is going to take me. <laughs> Up here, okay. Hey! Look at this! Look who it is! Oh. Hit. Cool. Let's have a chat. Raru. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs we woke to, 
to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Okay. Hmm. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of the bell stir fond memories in me. Oh, he's sweet. Right. Where the frick am I? Okay, forge construct. I'm nowhere near the shrines, but that's okay. Like, there's lots to look at. I need to reach my friend. Is it you? Oh. Is he the dude? Yeah. Oh, no, he's another one? So how do I get you to him then, dude? Uh, or do I go over to him? Okay. Okay, right. I can probably go over to him, right? Um, oh, no. Let me just look at this. What is this? Hello? Device dispenser operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use a device dispenser? I've nearly met my target. You are welcome to use it. Please. Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are such things as construct horns and Zonai charges. Excellent. You can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. Shall I explain Zonai capsules? I think those are the things... Yeah, portable Zonai devices in convenient pocket form. Yeah. Excellent. Con considering that I wasted one. They are also plentiful. You can extract many Zonai capsules from a single device dispenser. There is no harm in converting your spare resources into Zonai capsules. It ensures you will ha always have a few. Oh, I lost track of time. It seems I've even missed the time bell. I will suspend my activities for now. The dispenser remains available to be used. Yes, I definitely need that. So it was... Uh, horns. Materials. It should be materials, right? So no charge. Horn. Hold. Drop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Drop. Hold. Drop. No! Hold. Okay. Put in. Nice. I just need some fans now to, ca to put in the capsule, I guess. Oh, they already come with fans. No. I'm a fan of that. Let's do another one. Because we have a horn. Put in. And then we see if we can reunite these two friends. Because we didn't before. The ones before. <laughs> and I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if we can. Oh. Oh, it has different ones. A Zonai device that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection from monsters. Ah, so you get different ones. What's that over there? There's so much going on. Like, you can get so distracted, but it's good. It's good. It's good. Is that a shrine that I've done? It looks like it, doesn't it? Okay. Right, so... On to friend saving. Yes, you. I need a cart. Oh, I have a fan and a cart. Excellent. I don't have to use my own resources. They are right here for me. Excellent. Let's put you on. Let's see if I can do this without dying and failing miserably. Okay. Down. Boom. All right. Wow, wow, wow. Mummy. And you. There's a weird, like, is that a boss? That tower thing? 
Mm. Hmm. Okay. Let's attach. Look, it's on. Whack a mole. Let's go. Wow, that went much better than I was expecting. I'm waiting here for my friend. Yeah, so how do I get you to him? How the frick do I do? Do I have to pick him up? It didn't give me a an option to pick him up, though, did it? I have to go back. Yeah, so nice, lovely. Go. Apple. Okay, so. Do I have to do everything in this place? Let's turn you around. Put you back on. Let's go back. I don't know how am I supposed to like pick him up? Will he let me do that? At least it's not a long ways. Okay. So, oh. Yeah, I know. Dude. He's right there. How do I... Come on. How do I get... pick him up? Come on! Can I... Oof. Oh, my days, I can. Oh, my frickin' days. Hello. <laughs> no way. I was thinking, no, there's no chance that I'm gonna be able to just pick him up like that. But... Oh, I don't want to whack you. All right, all right, all right. Um... Sorry, dude. Oh, that was lucky. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Oh, my goodness. There's my friend. Oh. Nice. Two. Bye. Yay. Cool. I like it. Right. Anything up around here? We should really try and maybe locate a shrine. Uh, they're like quite far away. But I can go up here. So maybe let's do that. At least if we can get to it. That would be something. And then maybe start that in the next video. It's good, I'm learning. I feel like I've learned quite a lot to today. Get one of these fans. Okay, turn you around. Okay, attach. Excellent, we like it, we like it. Get in there. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Or not. We'll go back to that at some point. Um, right. Where am I now? Okay. I need to get. That's probably the. I guess they're sort of fairly similar in distance. 
the shrines. Um, let's go this way. Not through the mine again, I don't, unless I have to. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, oh. Oh, it's snowy. Ha. Huh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Maybe the mines, maybe it's the mines then. Spicy pepper. Oh, cool. I guess because it's cold. Uh, you? Uh, pick you up. Oh, and you. You need to cook some more food, really, as well. Can't get up there. So it looks like we're going back in. Oh, there's a... Uh... Oh, no, this is new. Pit cave. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Um, Hold, hold. There's some fish. Why not? Excellent. Spicy pepper seafood. Lovely. Hello? Excuse me, the snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travellers will swiftly lose vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? Insufficient preparation can lead to death in harsh environments. My advice can advert this. Please listen carefully. The primary safeguards used by our creators were meals that warmed them. These meals were typically prepared using ingredients with warm sounding names. Any such ingredients will suffice. Some also th with thick cloves or warm themselves by fire. Their solutions were effective but less accessible. Be mindful of your ingredients when cooking. My understanding is that only one cooking effect can apply per meal. That's good to know. You must take care not to eat something with a different effect afterwards. The chill will set again sooner in than you expected. Good tips, man. Good tips. Right. Okay. I feel like my, um, my health is a little low. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Just let me climb up here first. Thank you. Or not. Hey, man. No. Let me whack you with a box. That was mean. Uh, I should have really cooked some more, I guess, but I didn't. Here we do. This is a pretty cool looking cave. Some more spicy spices. I think we're getting, obviously, to the top of this snowy mountain. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, this is probably not the best idea. Like, I just... Oh, there's a shrine there. Oh, that is one of the shrines. Okay. Right. I mean, I don't think I had anything spicy, did I? But my... I seem to be okay at the minute. Long stick. Nice. Oh, can I? Oh, I've got some flint. Yep, okay, okay. Don't panic me. Oh. And then I need... Metal. Metal. Oh, shit. Um, flint. It's better if I actually hold it, I think. Yeah, okay, all right, Link. Jesus Christ. Okay. Didn't really want to <laughs> set my weapon on fire. What if... Oh, he seems to be better. Eat... But I will cook some more, I think, anyway. Hold. 
That will do, maybe. I don't know. Cook. Yeah, so it's um, fire fruits as well. Would they do the same thing? <laughs> Let's try. Uh, hold, hold, and maybe that. Cook. Okay, I'm not sure if that did the same thing, but hold, hold, and you cook. As long as we've got a few things, we should be okay. Just to get to the shrine, maybe. Uh, we've got some decent cold resistance. I'm running out of kind of like food. Uh, maybe I should have um, picked up some other bits. Let's get a couple of you. Kebabies, mushrooms and spices. <laughs> cool. And maybe a small one. And I think we're good to go, maybe. Cool. Right, let's go. Uh, the shrine is up there. Interesting. Down then, I guess. We've got another mm, cave. Which is fine. Uh, no, no, no shit. Oh, okay. He's got like some crazy ass metal thing going on. Uh, yeah. He seems to be a bit more hefty than me. Oh no. Oh! Someone just freeze me. Oh, these things. Where they go? Who are you? <laughs> White choo choo jelly. Jiggly substance that came from an ice choo choo. It's cool to touch and squeezing it seems a relief for stress. <laughs> if struck, it will explode into a cold mist. Okay, so we have a stress reliever. Cool. Let's have you. Yeah, I, I, oh, okay. Uh, let's drop you. Let's take you. Oh, my days, yes. Oh, it's got a flame emitter, emitter that's like one of the uh, things that I picked up from that. Uh, what was it called again? I can't remember. The thing that gives you stuff. <laughs> a dangerous flower that contains explosive elements does not mix well with fire or electricity, unless the goal is to blow up things. I mean, why not? So let's fuse... Sorry. Let's fuse... You with the rock. Oh. Hmm. I like it. Oh, it's like a pokey poke. Nice. Was there just something here? Oh. Where are you? Yeah, I can't see. Oh, it's a froggy frog. They're so strange. They're like something out of like Totoro or something. Nice. I'm still not sure what those gems are about, but I'm sure we'll find out. It's going up. We will get to the shrine, I'm sure, but it's nice to explore these things. What the F is that? Ooh. Right, what I'm gonna do... No, uh... One of these. Let's try that. Try again. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Uh. What are you? I'm going to try and get the... <laughs> okay, let's just whack you. Yeah, so I've obviously got to try and get this thing. It's pretty hefty. Tanky boy. No, can you concentrate on him? Tanky he is. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, yes. No. What am I doing? Oh. That thing is cool. Oh, it had a freaking chest in it. Oh, nice. Okay. And a like-like stone. A strange round stone from a like-like. <laughs> Made of crystallized inner fluids is a good ingredient for elixirs. Mmm. Cool. Well, that thing was tanky. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. What else is going to come up, hey? Well, we're near the top now. I think this might be the way to the shrine, maybe. Those bomb flowers are pretty cool, too. Oh, shiznits. Okay. Is my... No. This and this. Let's see. Oh no. Um, no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like all over the shop right now. Come on, give me your juicy fruit. You? Yes. Not that I wanted to use all of my good weapons on it, but... Yup. Yup. Cool. Ooh, flame emitter, nice. That's cool. So I can fuse that with another weapon... ...at some point. Um, I'll need to sort that out, I think. Right. So let's go round. I've still got 30 seconds of cold resistance and then I have a couple of those things that I cooked as well, so I can... Um, eat that too. And what I'll do is just... have... This. I will replenish my oh, my health and give me a bit more resistance. Excellent. That's what we like. This is pretty cool though, the, the snow. Yep. Yep. I think we are nearing the shrine. I think it must be up here. Yeah, it's there. Right, we'll make it to the shrine <laughs> eventually. And then I think in the next... Oh. Oh, okay. So it's wet. How am I going to get up there? Huh. <gasps> okay. Uh, hmm. Is it all wet then? This seems a bit silly, but 
No. Thought it might melt it. This is interesting. Uh, I know I've got materials there, but... I'm not sure. I suppose I could build like a a ramp, maybe. Let's have a go, shall we? Cut some trees. Put them together. Touch. Weird angle. Okay. Touch. Uh, any other logs or should I keep chopping? Choppy, 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 choppy. This might not work, but no harm in trying. Oops. <laughs> okay. Let's try. No. Down. Down. Touch. Okay. Bottoms up. Sort of, sort of, sort of. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Ropey, but so good. That's as basic as I get with crafting. <laughs> well, that's as complicated as I get with crafting. <laughs> cool! So. We found a third shrine. Excellent. Well, that was amazing. So much fun, I'm learning loads. I love the little, just all the little side bits, the crafting, the little skills that we're un unlocking. It's all just coming coming together really, really well. I'm loving it so far. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough um, and watching me trying to learn things, as well as I'm still getting used to the controls, but it will come to me, I'm sure, like muscle memory. Um, so in the next episode, we will complete this third shrine, which then should unlock the Time Temple, where Zelda is apparently waiting for us, but we still got, oh, look at this. We've still got so much to explore as well. I would like to go back and help that other Korok uh, get to his friend, but I'm, I'm really not sure how I can get back there at the moment. Um, although saying that, I do have now the inventory for it, right? The Zonai devices. So I may be able to do that as well. Um, that would be good in the next video. Um, please give the videos a like if you're enjoying the playthrough, any comments, um, more than welcome any tips and tricks please let me know subscribe if you're enjoying the playthrough i also have other videos uh elden rings and resident evil 4s all types of games that are on my youtube as well thank you so much for joining me take care and ta-ta